Good morning, everybody. You're with Martin Paniff, Chief Account Executive and Trading Analyst, GDMFX. You are with the morning market brief. Uh, starting with a little bit of a recap from, from uh, yesterday, U.S. and Asian sessions. Basically, over the U.S. session, the dollar was uh, quite mixed trading. Why? Because uh, we saw improvement uh, in the data coming out from the uh, economic calendar. But then again, investors waited the uh, late coming of the interest rate hike. Uh, so basically, the dollar went up uh, and then it recovered as gains and, and pretty much closed the uh, US session where it, where it started. Uh, then again, uh, the dollar was largely unchanged in the directionless trade uh, in the Asian session on Wednesday, with risk-taking uh, sentiment uh, diminishing the face of the geopolitic, um, geopolitical instability uh, and weakening stock markets in the US and Asia and Japan uh, specifically. For the first day in uh, uh, quite a few trading days, we are seeing a little bit of uh, European markets recovery. The expectation in uh, financial markets uh, uh, that lift off the interest rates will happen in the first half of 2015, uh, which is a reasonable forecast. This is what the New York Fed uh, chairman, Mr. Dudley, uh, said uh, in a speech yesterday. Uh, market participants were left with the view that the Bank of uh, England is going to raise interest rates uh, and raise them before the Fed does, but that will be, again, a 2015 event, not 2014 event. Higher UK uh, interest rates, of course, would make a bound-denominated uh, investments more attractive. Uh, commodity currency return uh, most of their recent gains, uh, and we saw some of, uh, uh, some of the declines on the Kiwi and the Aussie. Uh, below the uh, 94 handle uh, and dip to uh, 93.53, while the Aussie versus the US dollar edged closer to 86.50. Uh, up ahead, only a few medium tire reports are lined up for the Eurozone today. Uh, the UK and Switzerland, Germany uh, will print its uh, GFK consumer client figure out. And although um, an improvement from 8.6 to 8.5 is expected, the odds for weaker than expected uh, result are high. Meanwhile, the UK will raise its CBI release sales report uh, and possibly see a recovery from the pound and its actual figure and possibly uh, uh, it will come a little bit stronger. Lastly, Switzerland's UBS consumption indicator is also due, and it might lead to volatility among franc pairs. Uh, 12.30 GMT time, we are going to see the long-weighted numbers from the US GDP. Uh, durable goods and uh, indicators along with consumer spendings. Uh, later on today, commodity traders are going to see the inventories data in the United States as well. Golden oil, um, while we are at it, uh, moved sideways yesterday based on the mixed investor trading on geopolitical uh, situation. Uh, of course, the commodity trade is going to be quite volatile today because of the numbers coming out of the U.S. and later on the inventory data. Stay tuned. and. Make it a successful day. Cheers and bye-bye.